all right so how's it going everybody hope you're all doing well hope you're doing okay actually from us going outside it's actually pretty darn crazy what's going on in the world right now hope you're okay hope you're safe and i guess it's about time for you to subscribe right come on what's holding you back man we are going to talk about a 600 to 650 bucks console killing gaming pc build now let me tell you from the specs the gpu that in this pc has a compute power of 14 teraflops while the xbox series x has 12 teraflops of gpu compute power first off we have the cpu and we are looking at the ryzen 5 1600 af now this is one of the best price performance cpus you can get in the market right now for 85 dollars you're getting a ryzen 5 2600 like performance which is comparable to an i5 9400f on the intel side so it's just a lot of value for what you're getting and i would highly recommend you get that for whatever budget and it will not bottleneck our gpu that much i mean if you get a high-end cpu like an i7 9700k for example you'd find a difference of course get it you'll not regret it but if you want a higher end cpu you can get the r5 3600 and you'll get a really glorified awesome performance but for now this one is a beast for what you're paying for next up we have the board which is the gigabyte b450m ds3h you can overclock your cpu to around 4.1 gigahertz with that one it's for around 73 bucks or around 75 bucks i can't remember exactly but it's got four dim slots so you can upgrade your ram up to 32 gigs or even higher actually and it's got an m.2 interface if you are going to add an m.2 ssd in the future and for the price this is actually the cheapest best price performance board on the market right now so you cannot go wrong with it it's from gigabyte and it's just a good deal for the money now for the ram side we made a little compromise and we went for 8 gigabytes of ddr4 3000 megahertz ram now 8 gigabytes in the future will not be a lot but for now it's more than enough so you can upgrade to 60 gigs on the future but if you have the money to do so then do it and you'll not have to worry about it in the future but hey for gaming multitasking maybe a little bit of light video editing you'll be okay so yeah 16 gigs is the future but for now for 35 bucks this kit of ram is more than fine now i give you two options on the storage side you can either go with one terabyte mechanical hard drive and a 240 gigabyte ssd next to it or you can get a 480 gigabyte ssd and maybe upgrade in the future so i'd leave that to you but if it's me i would go with a 480 gig ssd and a used mechanical hard drive but if you don't want to go used with a very good gaming pc like that one then go for the one terabyte mechanical hard drive 240 gig ssd route like but having 480 gigs of ssd storage is actually really cool so yeah i'd leave that to you now for the case we have the cooler master q300l but keep in mind that the Aerocool Cyclone Mini, which is a black case with a tempered glass and a little RGB strip on the front of the case, and it looks really good for under 40 bucks, is out of stock now, unfortunately. So the Q300L would do the trick for 45 bucks, and it's one of the best budget PC cases and has been used on a lot of PC builds you can search for online. And for the power supply, we're looking at an EVGA 450 watt, or I guess 500 watt, but it's a bronze certified PSU. A 450 is more than enough and it's from EVGA and it's a trusted brand now for the icing on the cake the graphics card and we're looking at the best price performance gpu right now so right now guys on ueg you can get an rx 5700 for around 275 bucks with a 30 bucks promo code and a 30 bucks mail-in rebate so that's a huge steal given what this gpu offers you you can unlock the bias and flash it to an rx 5700 xt so it's just a lot of performance for the price it's just the best price performance gpu you can get right now I'm not even exaggerating guys, you can search online for the benchmarks and you'll find the true value this GPU offers. Even if you got it for as high as 320 bucks, it's still unbeaten. But if you're going to go with streaming, then I guess the RTX 2060 would do would be better because that Invink encoder, that Invink encoder like saves you a lot of performance when streaming or maybe you're gonna play games like fortnite for example but if you want to play a game like doom eternal then yeah i guess you'll have to go with amd it works a lot better on amd gpus but hopefully nvidia would fix that in the near future but hey that's all i have for you right now guys if you like that video press on that like button and yeah i'll see you in the next one peace